The Merry Prankster? What? Anyways, it's hard to pin down exactly why people love this streamer so much. Maybe because he does so many things from prank videos. Yeah, I didn't understand why they called him a prankster to too. To just chat and such into live streaming games. While Sonat21 recently dethroned gaming heavyweight Ludwig and as Twitch most subscribed creator and won 2022 streamer of the year, he's, his Roz hasn't been without controversy. During his 30 day subathon in February, in which he streamed 24 hours a day, viewers claimed that they saw a woman stealthily pleasuring him. Bro, they put, bro, what the fuck? Bro, they, why would they put that? You didn't even have to include that! That's bro, wait, what they the fuck? Did they actually put that in there? I didn't even read the whole thing. That's, dude, what the fuck? That's like, dude, I, I hate that like Reddit nerds have the power to do shit like this. You know what I mean? They, like they do have the power to sometimes in very subtle ways. <sighs> they have the capacity to, to uh, basically alter the course of history this way. You know what I mean? During his 30 days I mean, did he actually get a fucking handy on stream? Yes, I think so. But like, as I said, good luck nabbing him on it. You know what I mean? As I said back then as well, let my man live. Okay? Let my fucking man live. He was live for 30 days straight, dude. He streamed 24 hours a day. Viewers claim they saw a woman stealthily pleasuring him while on camera. He said she was merely rubbing his thigh. Most recently was also recently. You gonna put, what the fuck? Bro, what does this have to do with me? Bro, what does this have to do with me? Like, like I thought this shit was like about accomplishments and shit, bro. It is, it's fucked up. I mean, it is an accomplishment. They did him dirty, but it was a viral moment from the objectively most impressive arc of his career. Yeah, but like there were so many, dude, here's the problem, okay? Some people are fucking assholes, right? So they can get away with being more assholes, right? Like they can be as big as an asshole as they want, but because they're like ultimate position is like being an asshole, people just like kind of give him leeway. With Kai, he's in kind of the opposite situation where because, and this isn't dick riding at all. I don't really, like I don't care one way or the other. I, 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 don't collaborate with Kai. I have no fucking, like, our, I don't even think his community likes me at all. I have no reason to, like, you know, glaze him up. So stop saying fucking glazing or whatever. I, I really don't give a shit, okay? And it doesn't seem like they are interested, Kai or AMP is, like, all that interested in, in legitimately ever collaborating with me because they consider this to be a toxic uh, space that will inevitably cancel them. Having said that, though, as a content creator... It's completely understandable why he is uh, incredibly popular. And what he did during that subathon was fucking insane. He had too many high notes. Remember what I said about the asshole thing originally? Assholes have too many low notes. So when they are behaving like an asshole, like Aiden does regularly, they don't think about it. They're like, ah, oh, it's just an asshole being an asshole. With Kai, he's a victim of his own success. He has so many fucking highlights from that stream, whether it be having a literal attack dog come and fucking tackle him or, you know, starting off with a fucking Barack Obama impersonator and, a, and an MLK impersonator coming on or having like so many different, uh, so many different and unique content moments over a 30 day nonstop uh, jamboree. It's, it's definitely ridiculous to fucking focus on the, the, whether he got a jerk off or not, whether he got a hand job or not on camera uh, point. It's like not even a high point at all. You watch too much Kai, you should say some grass. I don't. I didn't watch a single moment of it, but I know all of those because I pay attention to the fucking space. I don't think that there will be another... It's like wild. I don't even know if there will be another 30... Uh, uh, another 30-day 30 subathon like that. But like that one had that that subathon had an incredible amount of that it, that subathon had an incredible amount of real eyeballs. Uh, it didn't get enough. I don't think it got enough media attention. It got a lot, but it still didn't get like the amount of media attention that um it, that it deserved, in my opinion. But it's crazy to me that the only thing 
that they the only takeaway from that is like a possible hand job of whether or not he got it. Like that's fucking bullshit, dude. You know what I mean? It was it was action packed. You know? The fact that you can't even praise someone without chat vetting you is crazy and answers why they would never come on here. It's a constant war with the chat. I know. I'm constantly engaging in a fucking war of attrition with my own community, so I don't expect other content creators who are understandably afraid of this fucking community. Like, from a pure content creator standpoint, nothing else, okay? He is objectively a unique creator in this fucking space. He does the most. The absolute most. 